and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our new stamp set, Virtual Friends, and its coordinating dies. We're also going to be introducing the Reveal Wheel Rectangle Window add-on, which works great on its own and great with the brand new Virtual Friends. And we'll also be showing the templates for this window, which include a little template that goes along with Virtual Friends that I can't wait to show you how it works. So let's go ahead and start checking all these new products out. The Virtual Friends stamp set has this super cute computer, which you can then decorate the inside of. So there's a couple different ways to do that. And first up, we have these four by four grids that kind of look like a zoom window, which is really cute. So you can see all four of your friends. We have ones with critters, ones with party hats and critters, and a blank one I'll be showing you how to use later. And then we have larger critters that also fit perfectly inside of that screen. So you kind of have the small version where you can see them all in the four by four grid, and then you've got speaker view, right? Where you can see the characters close up. And so we have a bunch of cute little characters and some of them with party hats as well so that this makes for great birthday cards. There is a desk that goes along with this computer. And then we also have a little mouse as well, which I think is adorable. Then we've got a loading sign, which looks really cute, especially when you do this as a reveal wheel. And then we've got little images that are perfect for the center part of like kind of the power button for the computer. So we have a cute little heart and then a normal power button. And then some sentiments that are great on their own, but also fit perfectly inside the computer as well. Happy virtual birthday and sending virtual hugs. We've got some smiley faces that fit great inside that computer screen too. And then of course, little blush that you can add to those cheeks. I love stamping it in ballet slippers ink. We have the word yay, and then hashtag happy B-Day. <laughs> we have hi there. And then we have some really fun sentiments. We have hope your day is glitch free. So glad we have a strong connection. <laughs> that one cracks me up every time. And then we have Miss You, which works really well in our current times, right, with these cute little cards. And then we've got some other little icons that you can use to decorate your screen or your background or put in the little base of the computer. We have the solid heart and star, and then the open heart and the little power button that I showed you guys earlier. And those are the guys that just fit perfectly right inside that computer. Next, we're gonna use Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. And I love this computer screen so much because there are so many different ways to use it. One, you can stamp directly into the computer screen and that's with any of the larger critters or the four x four grids. You can also die cut the critters and the four x four grids and layer those inside. You can also die cut a window into the computer and then use it with reveal wheel. So in the reveal wheel, you can have this really cool thing where you've got all the screens kind of changing as somebody watches their Zoom or FaceTime or whatever it might be into the computer screen. The other thing that I love about this computer screen is that it's a pretty good size, so it fits a lot of other Lawn Fawn critters as well, so you could get really creative with your critters. It also fits a brand new stamp set called Tiny Friends that we're gonna be showing you tomorrow, and then it also fits all of our other tiny characters like Tiny Gingerbread, Tiny Christmas, Tiny Halloween, Tiny Fairy Tale are a perfect size for this computer screen. So I love that this set is gonna work with so many of stamp sets that you might have in your stash that are favorite sets, it'll kind of make them new and exciting again. So here I'm using my Copic markers. You can see lots of different shades of brown and gray. And when I color the smaller bear, I'll color the larger bear in the same color so that they kind of match. So that as they're spinning in the reveal wheel, I'll have it's like as if that character is now the big one on the screen in speaker view, right? <laughs> so I love just bringing out different shades of browns and grays for these characters. And I love those E40 markers for the bears and these E53s for the mice are really, really cute. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color those in I'll color all the mice there once I have those markers out. And then I'm gonna add some different pinks. Now for the backgrounds of these characters, you can kind of do them in two ways. My personal favorite is to do them all in different colors as if they all have different backgrounds. It also kind of has a Brady Bunch vibe to me. Or you can color them all the same like I did up there in that pink one. So the entire thing is the same color. So it's kind of fun to do both ways depending on what your card looks like and how you wanna match maybe the pattern papers that you're using. For this loading sign, I always love coloring it in rainbow order. I just think it turns out really, really cute. Um, and it's really fun to see that in fast motion. <laughs> 
And then next up, we're going to be coloring our desk. And for the desk, I like to use these E50 markers. I feel like it has that kind of maple wood color that I think looks really cute with this kind of mid-century modern looking desk. So I'll just blend those out. I think some grays could look really good. Or also, you could do something kind of fun like a pop of color, like a pink or a turquoise. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with that desk. These are the coordinating dies for the stamp set and you can bend them apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate them. We're gonna take those dies and line them up with our stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape, run them through our die cut machine and we'll have these beautiful die cut images all ready to go and put on a card. So here is a look at all of the images from this set, all die cut. And you can see here how cute that computer screen looks up on top of the desk. I just love that. And the little mouse, I think, just is what makes the whole thing. And then we're going to take the other little mouse <laughs> and we're going to layer him into the computer screen. So you can see how those die cuts could layer perfectly, but you can also see how you could easily stamp them directly on the screen. Now in the coordinating dies, it comes with this smaller rectangle, and that rectangle is meant to cut out the computer screen. This is going to make it work with Reveal Wheel, but also on a standard card as well, because you could have it as kind of like a little frame. So now you can see how cute that is, and how fun it looks when you layer it behind there, just like that. So you can put the critters right behind that screen and kind of look through and see them all. The other great thing about that rectangle is that it's a perfect size for cutting out our 4x4 grids. So you could either layer the computer screen right over the 4x4 grids that you've stamped out just like that. You could stamp them right onto your card base or you can use that little die and line those up over the images. So there's different ways to do it. You could also of course stamp those 4x4 grids directly in the computer without cutting out the frame. So here we're going to take that die and you'll see we're going to line it up. It's going to look like it's cutting off more of those characters than you want, but it's it's okay because this cut line is kind of on the outside part of that metal. So when you run it through, see, it looks just perfect. And I really like this. This feels like a little puzzle. It's very satisfying to kind of put that little screen right on the inside. And how adorable is that? Oh my goodness. I just love it. And so you can do it with all of the different windows, the ones with the party hats, the standard critters, and you can also do it with just the plain grid that I'll be showing you how to use in a second. Next up, we're going to take a look at the reveal wheel window. So in this die, we have the reveal wheel window, and then we have two cute little frames. So we're going to take that window there and pop it right into our reveal wheel die. And if you've never used reveal wheel before, make sure to check out the intro to reveal wheel video. We'll link it in the description below. And then here is what the reveal wheel looks like with that rectangle window cut out then you can take those cute little frames and you can layer them. So this rectangle window could just be used on its own. You could put sentiments in there, cute little images, even some of the cute characters from this stamp set without the computer screen. So I think those are just super cute and a nice, fun, basic way to use this reveal wheel rectangle window die. It's very hard to say, by the way. <laughs> and then the other way to use this die is, of course, with our virtual friend's computer. So that rectangle is the exact size of the rectangle that we cut out of the computer screen. So they can layer right on top of each other like that. And of course, we're going to be making a reveal wheel from start to finish with this guy a little bit later in the video. And then we've layered that desk behind there, and I think it looks so cute. Now these are the templates for the reveal wheel, and these templates just make it super easy to do your stamping. So the, the two on the left there that are scallop circles are our traditional ones that line up with your reveal wheel wheel. And so this will help you either stamp three windows that rotate or two windows that rotate, and they're going to line up right with that wheel. And we'll be doing some stamping as we make a reveal wheel card a little later in the video with these templates. But the one I want to show you right now is that extra template that's included in this. And it looks kind of funny, like it's a square with a rectangle in it, but it's really, really cool. So we're going to take that open 4x4 grid that's in Virtual Friends, the one that's meant so that you can create your own custom kind of zoom window, for lack of a better phrase. So we're going to stamp that out. And then here I've got the brand new Tiny Friends, and we'll be making the video for this. We'll have that up in a little bit. And so these guys are adorable, and they are a perfect fit for this 4x4 grid. And so are our other tiny characters. So we have Tiny Christmas there, Tiny Fairy Tale, Tiny Gingerbread, and also Tiny Halloween. All of these guys are a great fit for this 4x4 grid. But today we're going to be working with those cute little Tiny Friends characters because they are just my absolute favorite. 
This template works kind of like a mask. It just makes masking really easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna line it up with your four by four grid. And you want to see some of the black line when you line it up. So you want it to kind of line up right on the edge of that black line. So not like that, because I can't see the black line there. I'm gonna shift it down until I can see most of the black line inside of that little rectangle. So let's actually practice here, okay? I can see most of the black lines there on the bottom and on the right. Then I'm gonna take my character and ink her up, and then I can line her right up in there. And once again, this is just easy masking, no tape, no anything, you just line that template over and stamp, and look how cute that is. Then we can repeat the same process. So we're gonna take that template again, we're gonna line it up, making sure that most of the black line there, you can see it at the left and at the top for that window, we'll ink up our character, and then we can stamp him right in that window. So I think this is just so much fun. I don't know why I find this so satisfying, like stamping through this little template. I feel like I could just do this all day and it would just make me happy. So we're gonna go ahead and pick out some more characters. We've got this cute little girl here with her headband and the tiny friend set also has a cat and a dog. And so I thought it'd be fun to stamp the little cat in the window too, because our furry friends are always getting in our uh, FaceTimes and Zooms, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this little kitty there. And now you can see how cute this is looking. And what I love about this is if we've created our own custom little 4x4 grid window for our virtual friend's computer. So you can see here in comparison on the stamp set, we have the two that are already created for you with the cute little critters, and then that empty 4x4 grid that we've filled in now with our tiny friends. Here's a look at those little guys in the computer screen, which I think is just adorable. And then also you can see how they will fit in the rectangle reveal wheel window too. So you can use them plain on the computer or you can use them in that awesome reveal wheel window. So we're gonna start off by making a reveal wheel card first. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my main reveal wheel piece and we're gonna drop in that rectangle window. So I'm gonna put that right in there. I've got a piece of washi tape there in the back to hold it in place. And then we're gonna die cut some of this really rainbow paper that's some of my favorite paper ever. I just love it. So I've die cut that and it's got that great stitching and the notch and everything ready for my reveal wheel. And then we're gonna go ahead and die cut that reveal wheel piece again without the window in it. And I'm die cutting some of our new textured dot cardstock which is so pretty it has this like subtle embossed detail to it I think it's like plain cardstock with a little extra something and that's going to become the floor for our desk there and you can see we have that cute computer so I'm just going to trim that down to be an inch and a half high that's going to be our floor and by cutting that floor piece with that reveal wheel die, it's got the same exact stitching on it, so all of the stitching is gonna line up, which I think gives it a nice finished look. So we'll layer on our floor, and then we're gonna layer on that computer screen that we die cut the little window out of with that rectangle that's included in the Virtual Friends coordinating dies. We'll line that up over our window, and then add some tape runner to the back of that desk, and we'll just line up that desk. And I like to tuck it in just a little bit behind the computer, so it really looks like the computer is sitting right on top of that desk. Next, I'm going to work on the sentiment. I'm going to take out one of these banner dies here. We're going to die cut that out of white cardstock, and then we're going to stamp the sentiment. Hashtag happy B day. Hope your day is glitch free, which I think is super cute. And to line these guys up, I like using my grid mat. So I just lay them right on my grid mat, kind of line them up with the grid. That'll help me keep them straight and also kind of even on top of each other. I'll pick them up with my block, and now I'm ready to stamp. I'm going to stamp in some merman ink, which is a really, really nice complement to that ground there. So I think it's kind of fun to stamp this in a different color of ink. And you'll see that my sentiment is a little bit shorter than my banner, but that's okay. We're gonna take that banner die and line it right up and just trim off the edge and that's gonna give us a custom length. So we're gonna line that right up, run it through the die cut machine, and now it just cuts that flag in a little bit shorter and it's the perfect length for our sentiment. We'll add some tape runner to the back and layer that right onto our floor of this card. Now we'll start to work on some of the reveal wheel components. And I'm gonna be taking out one of my favorite six by six pads, which is the Spiffy Speckles. And I love it because it's just a great basic. And I'm gonna take out that white piece with those turquoise flex on it. We're gonna die cut that with the reveal wheel. And then now we're gonna take out those templates that we looked at at the beginning of the video. So this is the three template. So that means we'll have three different screens as we spin the wheel. And I'm gonna hold this template in place onto my wheel just with some low tack tape here, just some post-it note tape. That's just gonna hold it in place for me so I don't have to worry about it moving around as I stamp. 
And now what I'm going to do is stamp directly through that window and that's going to make me have a perfect placement for this window for the reveal wheel without having to make any pencil lines or anything like that. So I've got my 4x4 four four grid and then the close-up of my mouse guy with the cute little party hat and then I'm going to stamp the loading which I just think is really funny. I think it's cute. So I'm going to stamp that in the third window. I think the happy uh, virtual birthday with, would be another really cute one uh, to put in that window. Then I can remove that template and do some Copic marker coloring. And yes, you can see the little dots a little bit through the characters, but I think it looks kind of cool. I just thought it was just something a little extra special on a clean and simple card to do that. And this is in super fast motion, but I think it's kind of fun to watch everything just get colored in like this. And then for the loading, I'm going to do a bunch of little rainbow colors again. I just think it's cute to match that rainbow paper that we have on the card base. So now that we've got our wheel done, we can start to work on actually forming the reveal wheel. And we need a base for it, so we're going to die cut some white card stock with the reveal wheel base without the window in it. And then we're also going to die cut the smaller wheel there. This is kind of our little base of the reveal wheel. We'll take out a mini brad and some small foam squares. We're going to take that small brad and we're going to be putting it through the smaller wheel base and then up through the larger wheel so that the prongs are opening up where all of those images you stamped and colored are. We'll then flip it over and add three little foam squares around that brad but not touching the brad onto that smaller wheel base. Then we're going to take our image and line it right up in that computer screen. And as soon as it looks nice, we're going to hold that in place. And then we're going to line it up with that base piece that we cut and press down, sticking the wheel to the base piece. Next, we're going to take some foam squares and put them all around the wheel, but not touching the wheel so that the wheel can still move freely. Then we can peel off that liner paper and layer our card front right on top, and we have formed our reveal wheel. Next, I'm going to trim down some more of that really rainbow paper to four and a quarter by five and a half, and also create a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and we'll layer that pattern paper right on top. I'm taking out the Reveal Wheel Sentiment stamp set to stamp this cute little Turn Me arrow. There's also a die cut arrow in the Reveal Wheel that you could use too. And I'm just going to use a little window that I had cut here as a guide for my stamping so that I don't accidentally get any ink on my finished cover. So I always like having a little finished one off to the side to use as my guide. I'm going to stamp that in some grape soda ink and then add some foam tape to the back of my Reveal Wheel. And then we can layer that onto the card base and this card is done. One thing I love about this card is it was really quick and easy to make so you can make a ton of these to have a bunch of birthday cards ready you could even change up the pattern papers to have lots of different looks for different friends but I think these are just so adorable the template makes it so easy to stamp I love that that 4x4 grid is all done for you you can just stamp it and color it and it's just so cute and so much fun and I just love this stamp set so much Next up, Shari is going to be showing us how to create a virtual friends card that is not a reveal wheel, it's just a normal card, also combining some favorite stamp sets. So she's going to be using Dense Sweet Den, so let's check it out. So for this card, I'm going to be taking some of the stamps from Virtual Friends and combining it with stamps from Den Sweet Den. I'm stamping all of these in jet black ink. I'm using my Misty so I can stamp them all at once. And I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring. So I'm going to be making a cute little scene that uses the desk and the computer from Virtual Friends. And I'm also going to stamp a little bear in the computer screen here in just a minute. And then I'm going to use the family of bears and some of the fun accessories from their den to make my little scene and decorate my desk. I'm going to stamp the little bear from Virtual Friends into the screen so they're FaceTiming or Zooming with one of their family, of course. And this little bear, I'm gonna color him in a different shade of brown. I'm gonna use some Perfectly Plaid Remix paper. This is gonna act as my background or my wallpaper in my den. And I've just cut that out with the largest of the outside in stitch rectangles. I've also cut a piece of storm cloud cardstock with that same stitch rectangle. And I'm going to white emboss the sentiment right along the bottom, pretty close to the bottom here. I'm doing this first so that I can then die cut the top and get it spaced perfectly. So I've just added some anti-static powder to my cardstock. I'm using some clear embossing ink. And once I've got that stamped, I'll just add some of that white embossing powder and it's gonna stick to that ink. And then I can just heat it up with my heat tool till it's nice and melted and you get that bright white sentiment along the bottom. 
So now that that is all done, I can cut the top. So I'm cutting it pretty close, which is why I wanted to go ahead and stamp my sentiment first. And this is just so I can have enough room for all of the items that I'm going to create my little scene with. So this is just one of the simple stitch till sides and I've just cut the top edge with that die. And I've got a craft card base here and that is what I'm gonna layer my plaid paper onto. So I'm gonna get that craft cardstock matting the plaid paper just a little bit there so you get a nice frame. And then I can just glue this piece that is the floor of my den and my little scene right to the bottom. And it will line up perfectly with that plaid paper because I've used the same die to cut them out. So I'm just lining that up with the bottom of the plaid paper, not the bottom of the card, the bottom of the pattern paper. And now I can start to add all my elements to the scene. So I've put my computer here so I know how tall it is. So I make sure that my desk is in the right place. And I've just added some foam squares to the back of that desk so it is popped up off the background. And I'm using some thin foam squares, so these are kind of half the thickness. And that way, the things I want to put in front of the desk, I can use the normal thickness foam squares. So I have kind of two levels of dimension. So I love the little lamp from Den Sweet Den. I think it looks super cute sitting on the desk and I've colored the shade in a bright yellow to kind of make it look like it's turned on. I also colored the books from Den Sweet Den which I think is a perfect way to lift up my little baby bear so that he is closer to the level of the desk. So he can talk to his friend or his brother or his cousin or whoever it is that's on the Zoom call. And then the mama bear or papa bear, whichever it is here, is going to be reading a book. And so I thought I would just pop up that book on a piece of foam. You could also cut the paws to hold the book, which I did not do on this particular card. But you do have a die in the set that will do that. I'm going to sit him over here towards the side. Got a little cup of coffee for him to enjoy. And then this little guy, I guess, I guess his Zoom call wasn't exciting enough, so he's fallen asleep under the desk. And then finally, I'm going to add a few touches with the stamp. Sorry for my head in the way. I'm just trying to line it up. I'm adding the little steam lines from the uh, Den Sweet Den for the coffee and also the little Z's where the little bear has fallen asleep which I just think is so cute and so much fun. And I've just stamped those directly onto the background. And here's my finished card which is just adorable. I just love this card by Shari so much. That little sleeping bear, he just cracks me up. And now we have some amazing cards to show you from the design team. And first up, we have a beautiful birthday card by Grace. I love how she has combined so many different birthday sets together with virtual friends to create the most adorable virtual birthday card. I love this slimline card by Kara and how she's colored in the most beautiful little scene for her zooming mouse. Those little hearts are a perfect touch. And this card here by Lynette is genius. I love how she used the Upon a Star character to be looking up at the computer screen. Here Megan was inspired by our cute little bears as well and she made a whole cute kind of school teacher themed card that I think is adorable. Shari created a fun reveal wheel and as you spin the wheel you get these cute little birthday images and I love that little mouse just so happy there on the screen and then our 4x4 grid. This card by Elena is so sweet. Look at that little bear looking up at the scene. I think Den Sweet Den is a perfect combination for the virtual friend stamp set. Kara got really creative with her dies to help create this cute little scene for her reveal wheel. I love the little rug and the succulents that she added from Simply Celebrate Summer. We're so excited to welcome Tiffany back to the team and I love how she shows that Virtual Friends is a great match for the Shutter Card die too. In these next two cards, Tammy and Elise show us how Tiny Friends is a perfect match for Virtual Friends. I love these two sets together so much and we can't wait to show you more in the Tiny Friends video, so make sure to check that out. I can't wait to see what you guys do with Virtual Friends and all of the new Reveal Wheel stuff, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!